Okay, so in this video, I think uh, we're at a point where we can start to talk about uh, design, a little bit more about design. Not that I'm the world's best designer or anything, but um, I do know how to do it, even if I'm not good at it. Uh, but I can, I can show you what goes into designing a web page. And when I'm speaking about design here, I think one of the, the biggest things that we're probably, you're probably noticing it yourself throughout all the work that we've done is um, uh, we, we can't position anything uh, nicely, right? Because we're trying to do it all with uh, HTML, which is not really about that. Um, we can define in HTML a particular element, uh, like a bold element or something, but we're not we're unable so far to to distinguish I guess I'm gonna say um, rooms in the house we'll go back to that analogy of building a house um, we, we can we're able to bring a lamp into the house and a chair and a sofa uh, and a sink for the bathroom but, but we don't have a bathroom we don't we haven't compartmentalized or divided the space up yet. And so what that's kind of what we want to do now. We want to be able to split the space into components and then um, put individual elements in each one of those components. So those individual elements are kind of like the lamp. Now what room do we want the lamp in? All right, so um, let's start thinking about how we might go about doing some, some such thing. Um, and in order to do it, I got a little sketch program here uh, that I will bring up for us. Let's see if I can find it. It's somewhere around here. There we go. So I've got it. So what we're going to do, or what I'm talking about with the design slash positioning, um, we know that when we write in the HTML file, the .html file, um, things are executed on the screen from the body, right? The body is the most important part. This is the part that everyone sees. So we'll see. This is our web page, kind of, in my idea here. Um, we know that as we're writing HTML top down, it gets rendered on the page top down in the same order that we replace these these items, right? So maybe maybe we have an anchor followed by a table. When that gets displayed in the browser, there'll be an anchor on top of the table. Alternatively, if we did the table first and then the anchor afterwards, it would come in the other way. So top down, there's top down execution of this file. What if I wanted something else and we're gonna need, right? This will make a little more sense. So let's start to maybe think of this as a house that we're trying to compartmentalize in some sort of way. So on my screen, I've got one big compartment here, right, that I've, I've put in place. Let me change to a new color, some other color, whatever, it doesn't matter. What we might like then is in this whole web page compartment, which would be in body, right, maybe we want a header space like an area that's we consider our header. Uh, and then of course there should be a footer probably, right? And those are usually a little smaller, that little spot down there. And maybe we want a sidebar of some sort over here, right? And maybe we want, as we move forward, these are just ideas as we move forward. This is something you would sit down with the person that you're um, uh, developing this for and you guys would think about it together. Maybe we'll, we'll want some sort of a logo up here in this header bar area. So we'll contain this. Maybe we'll center it in that location. And then we'll need some social media stuff, which maybe we'll put up here. So a link so you can follow on Twitter or something like that. Facebook, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Maybe our, so we would have these different compartments that I see. Maybe we have a, calendar of events that we would put in this compartment. So maybe what you begin to see here is that um, I've compartmentalized things. I, I'm, I'm trying to define spaces within this web page. 
And so I'm still gonna be writing the HTML top down as usual, but then I wanna use CSS to make these, to position these structures, right? The HTML will look the same as it always has, top down. We're gonna need a new um, element in order to do that. But what you can see with these boxes that I've created here is uh, I am grouping components and then I can call them something, right? So I will, we have this overall component here. I'll start with a, uh, an overall component like this. Typically that's called the wrapper, right? So when we call these things names, when I'm naming these things, I'm just going to use um, a method that we already know about. I'll use an ID. So I'll call this main black one that you see here. I'm just going to call it, I'm going to give it a class uh, ID equals wrapper. So it kind of wraps everything up in such a way that it remains, I don't know, 75% the width of the... Uh, of the uh, the browser so that when you grab a hold of the side of the browser and pull it in, the whole page remains the same size and doesn't get you know written over by the browser. Right, that's the idea. We'll see if we can make it happen. <laughs> so then I've got on the top, I'll give this top orange bar um, an ID of uh, header, let's say. And then I'll give this bottom one ID of footer. And so then I can I can use those IDs, this one sidebar, all right? And then maybe calendar of events, social media, and logo. This may be a, the, the company's logo would be here maybe, right? That's what I'm thinking. And I guess the way I'm thinking about it is that maybe there would be paragraphs in here or something. I don't know. It looks like I could put three. We don't even need to go that far because we don't even know what we're doing with this. But just to be able to put a sidebar and a header and a footer on the page appropriately would be something, right? <laughs> and then in the header, inside the header, so the orange is the header, ID header, the logo box here in purple um, maybe is logo. I'll call it logo. Header is the orange, logo, social media. So header box is the parent of logo box and social media box, which are at the same level, right? So maybe if you've used something like Photoshop, you could think of these as layers, right? And it kind of looks like layers, the way this is written out. And so this one would be um, a child of the sidebar. And then you know, next thing you know, we've got some kind of text probably in here of some sort. Some paragraph there. Uh oh. Oh, the, it is right. Okay. So this is the general idea. We've got a paragraph down here, I guess, right inside of here. So the paragraph kind of acting is acting more like the lamp in the house, whereas sidebar is more like the bathroom, which should have a sink and a shower. So those are items that would be in the bathroom. Now, the interesting thing with this, where this analogy breaks down, this housing analogy, is that with CSS, I can move these rooms around wherever I want to move them. So I could have this one left on the right side of the web page, or I could, alternatively, I can't do it with this soft, with this little paint program thing that I have here, but I could, I could grab a hold of this and move it to this side. Right? And I could say, no, I like the sidebar on this side more so than on this side. But you see the, the header, the footer, the sidebar, these paragraphs that are in the middle, those are all children of the overall web page that we're, I'm going to give the ID of wrapper. So what I've done, in effect, is I've divided the page up, right? These are divisions. And so the element that we're going to use is the div, the div element. So I'll create an overall div called wrapper with the ID of wrapper. And then I'm going to create a div for the header inside of the div for the wrapper, right? And then a div for this, a div, I guess we could do for each of these. Let's just start with the wrapper, the header, the sidebar, and the footer and see if we can get the 
the sidebar to go to the right hand side of the screen. And we'll leave the center blank for right now. This probably won't be difficult, uh, but we'll, we'll try. I don't want to overwhelm what we're doing here. Uh, it's more important, I think, to see that it's possible for us to do this and how the CSS can make this happen than it is to actually finish a design. Uh, because, you know, there's an infinite number of possibilities for this, for designing something like this. So let's not get too overwhelmed with the actual notion or idea of what we're going to make this thing look like. Um, let's try to focus more on how in the world can we group these items together. Could be, like I said, up for the sidebar, could be um, a, a calendar and then maybe some text underneath it, a paragraph. Uh, how do I get those two things grouped up into something called a sidebar and then displayed on the right hand side of the screen? So let's focus on trying to just see how we can make that happen. So this would be the first step, right? If you were a web developer, he would meet with someone and say, here's my idea of what it should look like. They're going to say, nah, I don't like the header like that. I want the I want the logo on the right hand side. I don't like social media up there. I want it down to the bottom, right? So you figure out the layout. It's kind of like doing a house. Well, the bathroom, I don't like the bathroom there. I like a laundry room upstairs. And, and you, know, you, you figure out where you want everything to be first. So, and that's typically done with a sketch, just like we, we've just done. Uh, but it, probably by hand, because you would probably be meeting somewhere at Starbucks or something. But this, this works online. So we're doing it this way. So that's my first, that's our first st step with this and we'll start to look at how we might put this together. First, how do we get the divs? How will that work? That'll be our first objective. Hopefully I'll keep each of these videos small. There'll be a series in order to get through this. That'll be the idea that I'm going to try to work off of. So let's see how it goes. See you on the next video.